an island at the foremost eastern edge of Korea with a postcard picture display of scenery with the land carved out by wind and wave after being forged by a volcanic eruption. Ulongdo, a mysterious island with primeval forest of the pure nature. Dokdo, the eternal land of Korea at the eastern end of our country, in the midst of tranquil livelihood of all living things here. There is a story of nature overflowing with vitality. Oolongdo and Dokdo harboring the God-blessed natural scenery. Oolongdo and Dokdo is certified as the first national geopark of Korea, along with Jejudo on December 27, 2012. Geopark is a region that is important from the perspective of Earth sciences with outstanding scenery. The development of Geopark seeks to preserve its natural features and advancement of the local economy through its utilization in education and tourism. Oolongdo is characterized by sharp mountainous ridges including Songnin Pong, highest peak, as well as deep eroded valleys between the ridges. Main ridges include Kadubon as the southern peak, Daepung Lam as the northwest peak and Duru Bong as the northeast peak. Forming three ridges, these ridges play a role in dividing the boundary into the three administrative zones of Ulongdo, namely Ulong Uk, Somnyon, Buknyon, Tokdo belongs to the administrative zone of Ulong Uk. There are a total of 23 interesting geo sites in Ulongdo and Tokdo. More specifically, there are four in Ulong Uk, six in Somnyon nine in Bukmyon and four in Dokdo respectively. Ulongdo Dokdo National Geopark of Korea provides outstanding geological tourism as well as beneficial tourism through education beyond the simple tourism for scenery. Let's follow the trails of the hidden stories of Ulongdo Dokdo National Geopark of Korea, a beautiful and precious gift of nature. Dodong and Jadong Seaside Walkway is a representative place for tourist attractions of Oolong-do with excellent accessibility and beautiful natural scenery. It became famous as the shooting scene of a popular TV show. It shows various geological features related to the early volcanic activities in the formation process of Oolong-do, along with well-developed cliffs and natural caves created by waves. This site plays a role as a bridge between Dodong Harbor, Hengnam Lighthouse, and Jodong Harbor. Bongle Waterfall, made of three steps, has been used as an important source of drinking water in the southern area of Ulongdo. Areas around Bongle Waterfall are characterized by a unique wind cave, a natural air conditioner, and a walkway through the forest where forest therapy with fight on side from the evergreen trees is enjoyable. When you reach Jukdo by ship, the largest island among the auxiliary islands of Oolongdo, huge colonies of bamboo can be observed, as the name suggests. This island is well equipped with walkways, famous for dadok cultivated on the pumice fields. The scenery of Oolongdo from this island is so fantastic that it will be an unforgettable view. Firstly, Kobuk Bawe at Tonggumi is a sea stack in the shape of a turtle formed by the erosion of waves. The eastern part of Kobuk Bawe is relatively flat, with the western part is rough due to the different lithological properties on both sides. Juniper habitat on the cliff to the west of the rock was designated as natural monument number 48. Goksu Bawi, with enormous size created by the volcanic eruption approximately 1.57 million years ago. Countless numbers of columnar joints form a long band like the strand of noodles. 
basalt bawe, located in Guam, is a mass of tough formed by fine pyroclastic deposits formed at the time of eruption of hot lava under the ocean. After passing through Bosot Bawe, you can arrive at the Hakbo Beach. It was famous for geological features with the carved remains recording the early history of pioneering Oolong Do along with the beautiful beach. Hong Tu Gul is a sea cave generated by differential erosion by waves of the top form through lithification after sedimentation of volcanic ashes. After leaving Huang Togul, visitors may reach the Teha Seaside Walkway and Te Pung Am. The Teha Seaside Walkway, made mostly of trachyte, boasts of its wonderful, beautiful seashore scenery with picturesque geography eroded by wind and waves. If you climb up to the Oolong Do Lighthouse by monorail, you will have spectacular views of the seashore around Te Pung Am and Buk Myon. The Juper Habitat in Te Pung Am was designated as Natural Monument No. 49. This is Neunbohm, a rock formed through lithification of volcano conduit. With a height of about 200 meters, it is named Old Man Rock due to the appearance of bicolumer joints developed on the rock surface like wrinkles on an old man. The feature that follows is Songotbong in Chusan. As the sharp peak looks like an ice pick upside down, thereby its name was given. It is made of huge rock surfaces at an elevation of 430 meters from the sea level. Kokili Bawe, located off the seashore near Songotbong, a rocky islet in the sea with an elevation of 59 meters and a length of about 80 meters. Its name was derived from its shape that looks like an elephant with its nose in the water. It is also referred to as Gongam because it is a kind of sea cave nose portion of the rocky elephant. Jukam Shingle Beach formed by the strong waves of Oolong Do. The Shingle Beach, made of round pebbles and boulders with little sand, is renowned as its quiet and fantastic seashore for taking a rest. Samsung Am, made of three rocky islets, is designated as one of the most three outstanding maritime scenic views of Oolong Do. A legend has it that three Taoist fairies missed their return time to the heaven because they were mesmerized by the scenic views of Oolong Do, and they were turned into rocks under the wrath of the great Jade Emperor. Guan Um Do, the third largest auxiliary island after Dok Do and Chuk Do, is also referred to as Nakse Island because there are numerous streaked shear water. There are two caves side by side with the height of about 14 meters on the seashore cliff. There is also a legend that longevity can be achieved if one drinks the water falling off from the cave ceiling. This island is connected to the Somwok district of Oolong Do by a bridge and can be reached on foot. The stroll paths lined with a wide range of trees including silver magnolia, camellia and silver grass colonies provide panoramic views and excellent views of the island including Jokdo and Samson Am. The primeval forest of Oolong Do spreads out from Songin Pong at the center. Primeval forest refers to the forest that has maintained its original natural conditions without the intervention of major damages over a prolonged period of time. The primeval forest of Songin Bong is characterized by numerous rare plants that can be found only in Oolong Do. It was designated as Natural Monument Number 189. Albong, located in the northwest part of the Nari Basin, is a convex dome resulted from lithification of lava erupted from the double volcanoes. It is clear that the lava could not flow down the hills. Yongchul So is found in the shape of a small pond. The influx of groundwater into the Nari Basin moved along pumice beds with high permeability. Groundwater encountered treke characterized by impermeable layers at the marginal parts of the Nari Basin. 
As such, the water gushed out to the surface, thereby forming the Yongjuzhou. Dokdo National Monument No. 336 is located 87.4 kilometers southeast of Oolongdo. Although Dokdo was originally one island, it was divided into Dongdo and Sodo by prolonged erosion action over a long time. A total of 89 auxiliary islets are densely spread out near Dokdo like jewels as sister islands. Dokdo Coast Guard and Dokdo Lighthouse are situated on Dongdo, while residential facilities are at Sodo. Suttur Bawe is a rock encountered first when one arrives on Dongdo of Dokdo. The name was given due to its physical property, very similar to Soto. With a height of 12.6 meters, it is characterized by horizontal columnar joints like firewood piled up. Samhyang Jegulbawi is a rocky islet with an elevation of 44 meters situated between Dongdo and Soto, although belonging to Soto. Its name was given due to the meeting at one point after the development of sea caves in three directions. This is a depressed area due to the faulting form various directions, subsequently turned into a tunnel cave by erosion of the waves. The last one is Doklip Moonbawe, the name given due to the likeness in form to the Independence Gate in Seoul. The part that protrudes out into the ocean has been continuously eroded on both ends by the waves resulting in an arch-shaped transform by the sea cave. The image of nature at the beginning of time without intervention by mankind. Oolongdo Dokdo National Geopark of Korea. The burning heart of Korea that has withstood the fierce waves and winds of the East Sea while maintaining its primeval state present wonderful and beautiful nature to the visitors, together with geological features far beyond the simple scenery tourism. We will put our best efforts to preserve and utilize this precious gift of nature, ensuring a sustainable future. Oolongdo Dokdo National Geopark of Korea, where lives and nature thrive in harmony.